In times long forgotten, there were the ancients. They suffered through jankiness and unwanted gameplay mechanics. Crafting was difficult. Combat was stiff and uneasy. Life was harsh, almost too harsh, until their savior arrived. And with his arrival, a dragon broke free and wiped out the entirety of the world they once knew. This series is about what happened next. The realm was born anew, life was much more plentiful, and people started to feel a sense of motivation. They grew to outstanding numbers. They flourished in media and formed large communities. They started dramas and controversies out of thin air, like the famous LPDU Discord server. But whatever the time, whatever the climate, they made it their own. These are the many kinds of Final Fantasy XIV players. <laughs> Before anything, we must start from the beginning. This is Eorzea, the land from where our subject of discussion hails from, a continent found on the surface of an ether-rich planet known as Etheris. But all of that information is susceptible to the main topic of conversation. Before we are even able to speak of the many denizens of high reputation, we must first speak of the fauna that is seen everywhere. This is Fortuita Multa, commonly known as the Casual. Interestingly enough, these creatures are so diverse that you at times cannot tell who is and who isn't a pure Casual. Some studies show that this can also just be a phase other species go through, evolve into, or evolve from. But how can you tell that this is a Casual or not? They may be plastered with artifacts that are from Trials of Ultimate and Savage Tales, I wonder if someone will understand that sentence in a deeper way. But there are easy ways of identifying a casual. Majority of the times, they don't even try to show off their achievements, whether it be titles or outfits. Sometimes all they need is a simple outgoing look with the text Mare Lamentorium and two Japanese snack boxes. Who put this in the script? This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co for the last time. Ever wanted to experience Japanese snacks in your own home? Well, now you can. Tokyo Treat is a large snack box that offers pop snacks like Kit Kats with exclusive flavors, ramen noodles, unique drinks, and many more things. Sakura Co offers more cultural snacks while supporting local artisans. And if you're someone who loves tea, then this box has got you covered. This month's theme is all revolved around Valentine's, so this is the perfect time to spoil yourself with self-love or or surprising your significant other. From Tokyo Treat, we got Be My Valentine, where I tried the strawberry shortcake Kit Kat and the cacao no Megumi. And from Sakura Ko, it's Valentine's Indulgence, where I tried the mini heart arare and the strawberry chocolate crunch. And with Sakura Ko, you get a Kiko and Firefly plate. The flavors that are stored within these boxes are the kind you want to savor. And you can with my link in the description. You can also use my code LEMONBOY to get $5 off of your first order from either boxes. Thank you again to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Ko for being the first ever sponsor of the channel, and thank you for watching through. Head over. Alright, now that we have the proper script back, where were we? Casuals have an interesting aura surrounding them. Ever recall that one person in school that looks like they can do nothing but surprise you with skills and capabilities that you never even dare to imagine? That is a casual player. They can surprise you with how horrid they are at playing the game, but can also impress you with their capabilities of creating things like imagery and glamour. They can also impress you vastly with their wordsmith in a good session of ERP. A fascinating attribute about casuals are their habitats. Oftentimes they find 
ways to easily camouflage themselves among other species simply because they are something of a skinwalker. You can find them in the deepest parts of a nightclub, in the outskirts of the universe, in a legendary tale of an ultimate fight, or even right behind you. They always spend most of their time trying to make their characters look the most badass creatures in existence, spending millions on jet black dye and are at a constant halt waiting for the two dye slots in Dontro so they can spend more millions on jet black dye. They would also spend hours in a dungeon of any kind, raid with hardcore subspecies, or even bash their heads against the wall, trying to beat an ultimate just for a title to signify their character's true badassery, if that even is a word. They would spend all their time leveling every single thing in existence, perhaps even wait in front of the docks for hours on end to spend 10 minutes in ocean fishing for fish that will always be sold for a grand total of <laughs> two gil. They would set goals for themselves that not even the hardcore species would attempt, perhaps craft a grand total of 300 Saitu Venus to sell at the leave quests to gain a good amount of gil to throw it on more <laughs> jet jet black dye. There would be days that you would wander around and perhaps see a multitude of casuals just standing about. They don't do anything, they simply stand there and marinate. Oftentimes, you may find casuals not even finishing the most basic things like oh, fucking story. And as they marinate, they either listen to their favorite Back streamer the loop the about the same topics Back over and over again, or contemplate on buying a house, or even sit on any recruiting website so they can find a damn job. Who the fuck wrote the Regardless of all these things, casuals are the backbones of Eorzea, carrying this whole continent on their back as they effortlessly exist to make the most out of their day. Whether they craft for the many, fish for the few, fight against the foes, and spend time with selected friends, they are everywhere. And the surprise to no one, there is a casual in every single one of them. Next time, if this series does any good, we will be taking a deep dive in the world of the fauna that requires three years of therapy. The fabled creatures known as the Munus Fesus Resedere, commonly known as the role players. Now you may be wondering why the video is still going even after the outro and it's for a very simple reason. This is a small update and checkup. Hello? How are you? Hope you're doing alright and having a great start to the year. If you wish to skip this, I completely understand, but it would mean a lot if you stuck around. I'm currently going through a period where I do not know what to do in terms of content creation for Final Fantasy XIV, and this is not the first time. I could delve into more discussion topics, but I also have other ideas in mind like ultimates, deep dungeons, even ocean fishing. But these kinds of content requires a lot of time to be spent into it, and I have quite the horrid ability when it comes to organizing the time I spend. So, I would like to hear what you would prefer to see in the future. Variety has usually been treated poorly by the algorithm, and more experimental videos are quite difficult to perfectly craft. This video was a very interesting experiment, and I'd like to see how it performs overall. But aside from that, the channel now has options to it that allows you to support it in your own way. Whether you'd like to support me via memberships or super thanks, and it would be highly appreciated. Of course, do not feel obliged to support me financially with these available options options. I only ask you to consider this if you are able. You can also follow me on Twitch since I will really try to stream more consistently after this video is released, so hopefully Sunday will be a good day. You can also join the Discord so you can be pinged when a new video is up or a stream is live. Watching the videos, liking it, and commenting is always a huge support to the channel that I will always be grateful for. So thank you for sticking around and supporting me in the many ways that you do. So hopefully, I see you in the next video or the next stream. Have a wonderful rest of your day or a night, wherever you are from, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>